Hello everyone, I am Mayuresh Doshi and I welcome you to the next lesson in Power Apps course. In previous lesson, we have learnt about collection in Power Apps. In today's video, we will learn about the gallery control. So without further delay, let's get started. So click on gallery control and here are our notes related to this lecture. So what is gallery control in Power Apps? Gallery is one of the most important control in Power Apps and it is basically a repeater control. That means whenever you want to show a data in grid or table format, we can make use of Power Apps. Let me give, an, give you an example in Excel sheet. So you should have used Excel sheet to show some repetitive data. Okay. And in Excel sheet, we call this as a table. So in Power Apps, if we want to generate or show such tables, we can make use of gallery control. So whenever you add a first control in the gallery at the top, it basically repeats the same control for all the records in your database. For example, in our Excel sheet, if you add the first row as a policy number, okay, so Power Apps will understand that rest of the rows or rest of the controls in that gallery will represent the policy numbers. If you add another control of some date, then Power Apps will understand that for the second row, you it, it need to show the date related to that policy. So let's see this in action. I will switch to the Power Apps uh, Studio and here uh, we have one blank screen and I will add one gallery control on this screen. To add a gallery control, click on insert and search for gallery. Now we have different types of galleries over here. To start with a uh, gallery concept, I will just show you the blank vertical gallery and then we will learn about the other uh, gallery templates. So I'm clicking on blank vertical gallery and as soon as I add this gallery, uh, it will ask me to select a data source. So what is data source here? For example, if you have a SharePoint list or you have an Excel sheet where you have lot of records that you want to show in gallery. So in this case, the Excel will be my data source. Then in previous video, I have told you how we can make use of collections in gallery. So collection can also be treated as a data source for a gallery. Or if you have SQL database or if you have SharePoint, you can use these databases as a items for that gallery. Here by default, Power Apps shows one custom gallery sample and this collection has some uh, sample data. So if you see this collection has three columns, one is sample heading, one is sample image, one is sample text. So let's start with this default collection. Okay. And when you play this, for now you don't see any um, repetitive controls or a grid structure of that collection. So you just need to first select that gallery and for selecting that gallery, always click somewhere below the gallery. If you just click here, it will just select the first record. So instead of that, click somewhere else so that entire gallery will get selected. Then you will see one small pencil icon, which is edit gallery icon. Click on a, click on that and the first row will get selected. Now just understand here, you can only edit the first row in gallery and whatever changes you make in that row, the same changes will get applied to the rest of the gallery. So for now, I will add one label in the gallery. And by default, it has selected the sample heading. So if I again go to that collection, we have three columns, sample heading, sample image and sample text. So by default, it selected the first column. Now let's add another label which will show the sample text. So I'll click on this pencil icon and I will add one more label. And at this time it has selected sample text. Now we can increase the height of this. And for this one, let's say we'll make the height as 100. This one also height as 100. And we can move this label a bit to the left to make it look better. And we can now add one image control as well. Because our 
um, collection has the image column as well though it's not showing any image but uh, this is a standard image that Microsoft provides or the, the power apps provides now uh, if you see when I play this you can see uh, all the items like this one this is the first item this is second item third and fourth and these are the three different columns that our collection has now let's learn about some details about uh, different properties in the gallery uh, how you can um, change the look and feel of the gallery so uh, let's first understand what is this item so when I added this label you should have seen this this item uh, keyword okay so this is a reserved keyword keyword in power apps which represents the current item okay so for this row the first row this item is uh, this first row and if you say like show me the uh, this records sample heading that means this item dot sample heading for the second row this item is second row so it will show the second rows sample heading in this way uh, every column will have its own um, this item property okay now um, let's see uh, what is the template height of a gallery okay now if you see um, this first row has consumed this much height okay so if you see there is some white space below this first row similar white space is below the second row third row and fourth row so if we want to reduce this white space we can uh, decide what is the maximum template height that you will need so if you remember i have set the height of this label and this label as 100 so i'm i'm fine with 100 as a template height now how to set the template height select this gallery and here you can see template size okay just remove this formula and say as 100 and now you can see that we have some um, uh, it has reduced the white spaces and it has um, it has assigned the height as 100 for each row this is just similar to the excel for excel we select uh, all the items and then we increase the height like this it is similar to that only um, then let's uh, learn about how we can read the selected item in gallery so uh, to select the item for example um, in our upcoming sessions when we are going to learn about implementing the real life uh, applications we will come across some situations where the user will select particular row from the gallery and he will perform some operation on that row for example it could be your um, leave requests so in a gallery you can show different leave requests uh, and by selecting a particular leave request you can either update that leave request or cancel the re leave request so in such scenarios the gallery will come into picture uh, this is similar let me uh, give you some demo in amazon uh, portal so if you have used amazon portal and if it's um, access some pages let's say the laptop and if you see this uh, laptop this is a gallery also so this control okay so uh, you can consider this as a gallery control and we can develop similar gallery in power apps okay i can show you this in 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 few minutes how we can develop this one so if you see this is a horizontal gallery and in our case it was vertical gallery now you, you will understand that what's the difference between this vertical gallery and horizontal gallery so vertical gallery will show the items one below other okay and horizontal gallery will show one item beside other so each item has its image then its price uh, the title of that product and the rating of that product so if you see each um, each 
record has repeated the control so image is repeated for each uh, column then price is repeated then title is repeated and then rating is repeated so this is a gallery behavior now when i select particular item let's say this item okay how my portal understood that i have selected that item only and i need to navigate to this uh, page to show the product details this is a common scenario in this case let's say if i select this second record okay i want to show some more details about that record okay so this is about how you can read the selected item in gallery so let's see how we can do that so for now what i will do i will add one chevron icon let's say next arrow okay now my requirement is that whenever i click on some arrow out of these four if i click on this third arrow i want to show the title of this record which is this lorem ipsum 3 so this is my requirement so how i can achieve that so to do that click on the first row icon because you can only do any operation on the first row and the same operation will get repeated for all the records so if you want to apply some formula on this third label you cannot do you have to apply that formula on the first record itself so on select property of this icon uh, you see that it has some predefined formula which is select parent that means it will select the parent record okay so uh, now just take one label here uh, i'll just increase the high, um, font size now i want to show the title of the selected record so what i will write formula here is that the name of the gallery which is gallery one dot selected dot now these are the three, uh, these are the columns that we have in our gallery so our gallery has sample heading sample text icon image label label to sample image so i want to show the sample heading so i'll select that and now if you see it has shown me lorem ipsum 3 if i click on second arrow it will show me lorem ipsum 2 1 4 like that so now here you must have understood that how we can read the selected item of a gallery so we can make use of gallery dot selected so selected is a property that we have learned today so gallery dot selected and pass whatever value you want instead of sample heading now we know that the same heading is being uh, represented by this label okay label one so i can make use of label one as well so if i write label one dot text it will give me the same output okay so this is about how to read the selected item in gallery let's learn now how you can check if the item is selected in a gallery that means now let's say i have a requirement where i want to show some background color to the selected item okay and by understanding this implementation you will understand that how you can implement some logic or some business case where you want to see what item is selected in the gallery and how you can highlight that item in a gallery so let's see that so select the gallery and go to the template field property okay and here uh, you see that currently it's uh, transparent color is applied so instead of that we will say if this item dot is selected so select is a new concept now this will just return you the true or false value based on if that item is selected or not okay that means if first row is selected it it will return this item dot is selected as true if the second row is selected then it will return true for this second row only for first third and fourth it will return false value so it's selected 
then uh, let's say orange otherwise this transparent color rgb now see if i select the first record it will highlight with the background color if i select second third fourth so in this way we will understand that how we can check if the item is selected in a gallery and whatever item is selected if we want to get its value we can make use of dot selected function so now uh, so far what we have learned one is selected keyword and one is each selected keyword each selected can be used inside the gallery only and selected can be used outside the gallery um apart from that now let's learn about some different types of galleries uh, in 95 percent of the cases you will use uh, this blank vertical gallery only uh, but it's uh, just to explain you how how different galleries we can implement in power apps so we have learned about blank vertical gallery okay so this vertical gallery is similar to the blank vertical gallery except that it it will buy let me remove this so this is blank vertical gallery so the difference is that power apps by default provide you some sample uh, text labels icon and image okay and then you can change the template uh, from this layout like if you just want image and title so it can give you image and title if you select um image subtitle and body it will give you this one uh, title subtitle and body um but in most of the cases you will get a custom requirement from the client where you want to develop a custom gallery with some labels and some icons so it is not always like uh, you need to go with this structure so that's why i said in 95 percent of the cases you will go with this uh, blank vertical gallery now let's uh, see about uh, other types of the galleries horizontal gallery now this gallery okay so this gallery is similar to the that i have showed you uh, in case of amazon so this is horizontal gallery okay so here if you see we have image uh, and title and description so if i add some more label let's say i'll add button so as soon as you add button the same button will get copied to the next columns and whatever position you changes it will get applied to the rest of the columns this is the same like a uh, vertical gallery so if you change the position of this icons it will get changed for all the rows and uh, then blank vertical gallery sorry blank horizontal gallery it's the same like horizontal gallery it's the only difference that you will not get any default uh, elements of that gallery okay so if you see in this uh, horizontal gallery power apps has added some default controls inside that gallery like image button subtitle and title but in this blank horizontal gallery you don't have any default controls now let's learn about a uh, flexible height gallery okay i'll uh, initially i will use blank flexible height gallery and let's add a label uh, before explaining this let me uh, show you some comparison so i will add blank vertical gallery here inside that gallery i will add a label and here i will say sample text okay let's say a width as 150 and height as uh, 150 and template height as again 150 okay now if you observe this gallery you can see that when when your record has some uh, large characters it looks fine 
but when your record has very few characters it will add extra white space over here and suppose this record has a long length okay then it might not show correctly in uh, in this position so you can see that this label is now cutting from bottom and it's not showing correctly but for example uh, when your record has three rows only it's adding more space over here so instead if we go with uh, blank flexible height gallery or flexible height gallery you can adjust the height of this uh, gallery for example uh, just add sample text here and select the uh, height as auto height and now play this now you see that based on the uh, height of that um, label uh, it's automatically adjusting the uh, height of the gallery so this flexible height gallery is useful when you when you have some random text or you you are not sure about the length of the text that you are going to show in gallery in in such cases the blank flexible height gallery or flexible height gallery comes um, um, is helpful so this was it all about galleries in power apps I hope you understood like what is gallery, how you can um, use them, how you can read the values of those gallery items. Uh, let me show you some uh, actual examples. So in this example, you can see that I have developed one application in Power Apps for funding request. And this application has this gallery control where I have shown its ID title. So uh, the gallery control starts from here but the above ones are the just label controls that I have placed above the gallery control. We are going to see about how we can add those labels. It's very simple. For example, this is my gallery. I will just add few labels over here. And I'll place the background color. So and then the text color as white. So this is my one label. Just copy paste it, paste it here, then again paste it, use this label and like this. Then you can add a border to that gallery. Let's remove this gallery. And this is how your gallery will look like. So here you can say title description and image basically i have created some uh, some gallery where i have the title of uh, on each column and their values so in similar fashion i have developed this gallery and uh, in real time scenarios we are going to make use of galleries uh, in lot of places so uh, i hope you now understood about the gallery use of gallery different types of gallery what is this item how to read the value of selected item how to check if the item is selected in gallery what is the template height uh, you will become more familiar as you try to explore more into details like adding some uh, tables uh, in our next videos we are going to learn about how we can use sharepoint list in gallery how we can show different data in that gallery but for now, this was just the introduction about gallery control. Um, if, if you are still with me, thanks for watching this video till now. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. Till then, thanks for watching. And please subscribe to my channel to get notified about upcoming videos in this course. And also the Power Apps videos that I keep uploading um, very frequently. Till then, thanks for watching and have a nice day.